Hey guys, so we picked up a new device uh, while we were on home time. Uh, we've been using a lot of data with the YouTube and stuff, so we've been trying to find some ways to get some, uh, be able to connect to some free Wi Fi so we're not using so much of our data. Last month we went over by, I think it was seven gigs, making our cell phone bill like $500, so that, that kind of hurt. So this is what we got it's called a Wi Fi Ranger. Um, I've seen a bunch of people, uh, some full-time RVers, who uh, have used this, and they said it was uh, really good to uh, pick up Wi-Fi's like two, two miles away. Um, so we we thought we'd give it a try. It wasn't cheap. Uh, it was probably about six hundred dollars for this setup, but hopefully uh, it saves us some money on Wi-Fi. Um, it comes with a big long antenna. I don't know if we can get this in the video here um, What you do is you mount this on the outside um, I'll show you how we're gonna mount it. I'm not gonna actually mount it to the truck I'm gonna mount it so we can uh, whenever we're sitting I can uh, stick it out and stick it on top of uh, Somewhat up high it comes with a long long cable here um they even, uh, with the quick start guide, they sent us some free Werther's candies. Uh, <laughs> I like Werther's, so I don't know why they're sending candy with Wi-Fi things. But then uh, it comes with uh, some mounting options that give you two zip ties. Or you got your two, uh, two clamps here so you can mount it to a pole. Then... Uh, this looks like uh, some sort of hardwire device if you wanted to hardwire it in, but we won't be doing that. Uh, we'll use the, the wall plug. Uh, this would basically plug into the front here where the power goes. And basically what this is supposed to do is pick up Wi-Fi signals. And if you've ever noticed inside the truck, uh, if you're outside, you'll get a good Wi-Fi signal. But then as soon as you get inside the truck or get get back in the sleeper the walls of the sleeper kind of block the Wi-Fi signal a little bit so what this is supposed to do is uh, get those Wi-Fi signals from outside and brings a signal inside so you're not having any anything block the signal so hopefully this works for 600 bucks uh, if it doesn't I'm gonna be super pissed but let me get it mounted and I'll, I'll show you what it, what it looks like and then we'll go through the setup on it. Alright, this is what I'm using to mount the Wi-Fi. I bought some PVC pipe and as you can see, I got a, it's zip tied right now. The clamp rings I bought were too small for it. So, and what we're, uh, also I did is I got a thinner piece of PC, PVC pipe. Heather's going to show you how that works. We're going to put the antenna on the end of that. Then slide that down into there. And then it'll be mounted up at the top of that. Close the door. So then the antenna should stick up there. And then we'll just run the wire. <laughs> Look at Heather. And then the wire will just go in through the window. And this will allow us to take it in and out. Uh, so we don't have to permanently mount. Sorry, it's so shaky. Uh, permanently mount it on the truck. It's just makeshift so let us get the antenna hooked up to it and we'll go the, the antenna mounted onto the second PVC pipe that's gonna slide in and I'll show you how we slide that so here's Heather she's uh, gonna slide it in there bada bing bada boom now if you can see I put like a little cap on the bottom here to stop it from sliding all the way through and also I put two tiny holes so uh, water don't build up in there when it's raining so that's what it looks like we're gonna run the cable in through the window and then just roll up the window and kind of don't want to crush the cable but just enough so we don't, if it's raining outside water's not gonna get in Alright, we're going to go inside and plug this thing in. Alright guys, so here's the Wi-Fi Ranger go-to control panel. Um, I want to show you the difference of Wi-Fi signals it picks up. This is what our uh, laptop's picking up. is one, two, three, four, five signals. This one's the, the Wi-Fi Ranger 
antenna outside and this is the one inside. I got them labeled backwards as you can see, but it, it only brings up five, uh, one, two, three, four, five signals. But with using the Wi-Fi Ranger, it says we pick up 21. Now, I think that's a little bit uh, unrealistic just because if you look at some of these other ones, the signal bars, they're not very strong. You know, I, I really doubt we'd be able to connect to any of those. But if we're at a pilot right now when we're connected to the pilot Wi-Fi. Um, and it works really good. I mean, it, what it does is, it, like, while the laptop brought up five signals, our cell phone barely picks up this pilot enhanced outdoor signal. And while we could connect to it on our phones while we're back in the sleeper, it's really slow. So what this Wi-Fi Ranger has been doing for us is uh, we got the antenna outside, as you've seen how I, I hooked it up, and it brings the signal inside. So our phones are able to connect to the Wi-Fi Ranger and still get this pilot uh, Wi-Fi. And we're able to do everything on our phones, watch YouTube, Netflix, all kinds of cool stuff. Now, one thing I've noticed uh, on their Wi-Fi Rangers advertisement, it says that it can pick up signals up to two miles away. Now, if a signal's two miles away, it's going to be down here at the bottom. You're barely going to be getting anything. So, I mean, I, I think that's a little bit of a kind of like a misconception. I, I really doubt you could connect to a Wi-Fi even a mile away. Um, we have yet to, we've been trying this out for about two months and we've been yet to been able to uh, connect to one that's that far away or even pick one up. And that's, like they say on their website, in the most perfect conditions. No trees or anything blocking it. So, but, you know, we've been trying it for a couple months. Um, one thing I will say, you know, we've tried it at TAs on their Wi-Fi. And, I mean, TA and Petros just have a really crappy Wi-Fi, I think. So it, it did stay connected better than our phones would have, but it wasn't. It still wasn't that good. So I really think it's going to depend on how good the Wi-Fi signal is and how good their Wi-Fi is. You know, I mean, if they, if it's a crappy Wi-Fi, you're just not going to be able to get a good service anyway. So uh, one thing I like about this Wi-Fi Ranger, though, if if you look down here, it says disabled safe surf. I have it enabled right now, and what that allows us to do is be able to check our banking stuff and log into personal things uh, on a free Wi-Fi and not worry about our stuff having to be hacked. Um, another thing I want to mention about this Wi-Fi Ranger is it's extremely advanced. Like, it, it this thing is able to set up networks and... Um, just all kinds of crazy stuff. Like you can connect to, we can use the pilot outdoor Wi-Fi and connect to our mobile hotspot using this Wi-Fi Ranger to make the speeds even better. And what it does is it will use the free Wi-Fi and when this free Wi-Fi slows down, it will pull from our mobile hotspot a little bit of our data and combine the two to make to speed it back up so you're not dragging on service so um, the main reason for us getting this was to not use our mobile Wi-Fi we were trying to slim down on some of the data we've been using and we wanted something that was gonna pick up uh, better Wi-Fi signals and so far I've been pretty impressed um, I will say it took me absolutely forever to actually figure out all the setups and the settings and stuff to be able to work for what we need it for. You know, um, it was an absolute pain in the butt just trying to find find the right settings for just using it in the truck. But once I figured it out, you know, I mean, I had to read the whole manual. I had to play around with all the settings. And I don't know a lot of this internet stuff. Um, and talking about, uh, let me see here... Ethernet WANs and uh, boosters and 
Wi-Fi. I, I don't understand what most of that was. So uh, it took me a lot of reading to uh, really figure out the settings to get it set up. But once I got it set up, uh, I've been really impressed with it. You know, especially uh, these pilot pilot uh, enhanced Wi-Fi's that they got now. They've upgraded their Wi-Fi signals and. It's been a lot better. Like, we've been to two pilots so far, and I am extremely pleased with how well it, their their Wi-Fi is now. I know they have been receiving a lot of complaints about how bad it, it sucked and it just wasn't working good, and pilots stepped it up. They got some really good Wi-Fi now, so if you're in a pilot area, check it out. Um, I don't think they've upgraded the indoor free Wi-Fi, but the outdoor one... If it says uh, Flying J or Pilot Enhanced, that's that's their new Wi-Fi. So if you get a chance to check it out, um, it's really good. You know, we've had very little problems with it. Um, we still do get disconnected maybe about once in a 24, maybe twice in a 24-hour period. But compared to TAs and Petros that we had experienced, I mean, we we're getting kicked off every 30 minutes to an hour, and and if we we're even lucky to be able to get reconnected. So, um, I just want to share our experience with this Wi-Fi Ranger thing. You know, it's pretty pricey. Um, I think they do have some cheaper options out there. We know somebody that uh, has just tried a, another brand um, antenna Wi-Fi extender thing, and we're waiting to hear how he likes it. He just got, got it uh, set up think about a week week ago so we'll see how well his his works and i think his was only about three hundred dollars where this wi-fi ranger was uh six hundred and fifty dollars i think um i do think this wi-fi ranger offers more options as far as setting up networks and you know stuff like that but if you're not a technical geek like that and know all these wireless router settings and stuff um this might i know this the wi-fi ranger was i was getting really pissed because i spent 600 over 600 bucks on it and i just couldn't get it to work but finally we got it the settings just right and we've been really happy with it so just wanted to share my experience with it you know uh, i'm not endorsed by wi-fi ranger it's just something i came across um, wanted to learn a way to uh, get better Wi-Fi signals out here on the road and stop using 60 gigs of data and going over on our wireless plan. And So hopefully this will save us some money in the long run. I, I know it won't save it right away, but I uh, just wanted to share with you guys how how impressed I am with it. You know, I mean, you, if you can see we're connected to a Wi-Fi right now. Go to Yahoo, you see how fast it pulls up. Go to news, you know, pulls up really quick. I cannot, I mean, a lot better than what we've experienced in the past, you know. So if you've been wondering about this Wi-Fi Ranger, it, it actually does work pretty good. I don't think as well as they say on their website and as well as some of these uh, other YouTube videos say that it works, um, I think. It's not that good, but still worth the 600 bucks. I, I think so. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to hear how our friend's uh, experience works out. With we'll see how uh, how well his his Wi-Fi antenna works, and you know, maybe uh, I might pick one of those up too. I bet if this thing ever uh, fails on us, you know, I might go the cheaper route just because I didn't need all these set settings and stuff that the the Wi-Fi Ranger offered so well I hope you guys liked the video uh, thanks for watching and subscribing and we'll see you in our next video